Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we want to talk a little bit about uh, kind of an update to an article we covered quite a long time ago. And um, this is that Ubuntu a little bit ago started putting ads in the terminal for some of their stuff. And uh, they are actually digging a little bit deeper, embedding the software that did that deeper into the Ubuntu core, meaning it's not impossible to remove but it's becoming a little bit more difficult to remove. So an article from the register here, Ubuntu Advantage. So what Ubuntu Advantage is that it's supposed to be part of Ubuntu's like um, automated security patch. So your system will automatically push security updates, basically making Ubuntu quite a bit more like Windows. And we're starting to see a little bit more behavior. We have a few articles to record this week about Ubuntu becoming a little bit too much like Windows in some respects. How exciting. Ubuntu Advantage is being wired deeper into the distro. Um, so Ubuntu Pro, which is free, this is kind of like a corporate model of uh, a Red Hat type thing. If you have Ubuntu Pro, you have a little bit more support. You can get it free for up to five computers. So of course, you have to register with Ubuntu and give them a lot of contact information and you know become part of giving all of your data to the deep state. But if you do not want to use it, don't worry. You're just going to be pestered whenever you do certain terminal things, and it will provide you an ad in the terminal about it. Now, this was part of a uh, this was part of a uh, a package that would allow you to um, uh, it would allow you to actually get in there and um, disable it. You can set a configuration to not show the news. So you can see that sudo pro config set app news equals false. Of course, some people are like, why do I have an application that's just spamming me stuff, and I don't want to opt out by typing in a terminal command to tell me, hey, don't give me news updates. So you'd have to be able to go there in the past and you could uninstall the software. The problem is, is that what they are doing now is they are embedding this deeper into the core of Ubuntu. Um, so it's going to be part of the Ubuntu minimal package, which is what the Ubuntu team uses to define what Ubuntu is is. Now, this does not mean every Ubuntu-based distro has this embedded into it. What it means is that in order to, for something to be considered Ubuntu, possibly to be part of the, um, the Ubuntu flavors, you would have to do this. Um, but uh, ultimately, what's happening here is that they are embedding it deeper and deeper to make sure that you cannot as easily disable that to try and remove this power package now from Ubuntu means it's going to remove some other core essential files with it. Now, the more frightening thing is that this was actually proposed um, and defended um, by a person who also um, is a Debian developer. So Ubuntu and Debian developer, uh, Steve, is at Langasek, uh, defended the decision to make the package a dependency on Ubuntu Devel mailing list. All right. Um, some people issued a bug report about this. They said, oh, no, that's not a bug. That's a feature. And so now you have to um, you actually have to have that system in there. Um, not only a bug report into the additional input and additional comment here. Uh, Canonical founder Mark Shuttleworth defends the move. So, of course, they're defending embedding this advertising platform deeper and deeper into Ubuntu. That's going to be proposing that you give Ubuntu more of your details and provide a user account so you can have Ubuntu Pro and your system becomes more like Windows and forces things automatically updating on your platform, among a few other things. Another option in the short-term releases, um, if you do these short-term releases, uh, this is not a package that is on the short-term, term, only the LTS. So that means uh, three-fourths of each two-year cycle. Only for six months, you'll have the 
thing perpetually on your platform. Or you could just jump off of Ubuntu altogether. The problem here is that Ubuntu in doing the things that it's doing here, what they're trying to do is they're trying to have a system that is more corporate in look and feel, that has more of a, uh, we're going to get in here and provide the support levels and everybody's collecting data, so we're going to start collecting data now too. These are those things that uh, they're starting to do, which in all honesty, are a little bit more problematic. These now, here's the thing about Linux. About 50% of the Linux community has come over here to get away from that type of approach. Another 50% came here for other reasons. The 50% that came here for other reasons and don't really care, they look at this and say, I don't really care. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't hurt me at the end of the day. I don't really have any qualms about giving up my information. I don't care about the corporate model. In fact, I want the corporate model. Those are the same people generally who also like the snap model, which the 50% who came to Linux to avoid all this nonsense absolutely hate the snap model. And this is one of those things that is driving a wedge in the middle of Linux. So that such the point that we can't actually really come to the table in any form of unity as Linux users because there's so many different men methods of doing things. And it would be a different thing if it if they came each one bringing its own kind of differences with a similar core philosophy. The problem is what Ubuntu is doing here is an antithetical to the philosophy that brings a lot of people to Linux. A lot of people are switching to Linux and more and more are going to switch to Linux as more data privacy collection issues show up in Mac, as Windows starts pushing more people to utilizing the new Windows platform, as more people realize the importance of privacy and security in your data, as more people recognize that, you know, I might actually have something to hide depending on who happens to hold the positions of power in our nation. These are all fundamental questions that we have to ask about. And the problem that we have is that Ubuntu, one of the core Linux distributions, is driving a wedge right down in the middle. And it's no wonder as we're starting to see this as more and more of a approach to drive a more corporatist model into things. So this is in and of itself kind of a problematic thing in that um, uh, Ubuntu is starting to push this stuff deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, some of the, the better Linux distributions based on Ubuntu are going to pull this out. They're going to know how to pull it out. They're going to know how to mitigate it. A lot of your fly-by-night distributions, which are not much more than a few applications and skins on top of Ubuntu, are not going to recognize a lot of this kind of stuff. And it's going to push itself down further and further, mostly because many of these downstream Ubuntu distributions are based on the LTS, not based on the rolling releases. And so this raises a little bit more issues and more concerns. And honestly, this is why Ubuntu at one point in time used to be one of the greatest things that brought people to Linux, but now more and more people have a greater disdain for Ubuntu because of these types of things. But there are more Ubuntu stories coming on down this week as well. Well, thanks for watching this short little news clip video here on Switch to Linux. We're going to try doing these for a little bit, see how you guys like them. And uh, with that, thanks for watching. Have a look at the links in the comments uh, down below. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.